prospect of buying a home might seem scary, but selling your first home might be downright terrifying. Hi guys, I'm Jenny Yusei with Yusei Realty, and I'm here to help make your real estate dreams a reality. When selling a home, it's important to take one step at a time and address the factors in a successful sale. Today, I'm talking about what I've learned over 15 years of real estate and sharing my advice. With these seven tips, I'm confident the selling process will be a breeze. Tip number one, decide on a reasonable price. You will work with your real estate agent to figure out a price point that is both reasonable for the buyer and the seller. You obviously have a number in your head that you want to reach. There are valuable local resources available to establish the best possible price. Take the time to sit down with your agent and arrive at a competitive price point that is representative of the neighborhood includes the improvements you've made and reflects the market trends. While in the past, the winter months tended to be a slow season for residential real estate, the hot Denver metro market is witnessing deals being made throughout the year. Given the low inventory in Denver, the best time to sell is now. Tip number two, do a deep cleaning of your home. A deep cleaning of your house is always necessary. By deep cleaning, we mean making your home spotless. It's time to scrub, dust, polish, and apply a fresh coat of paint in some cases. If your home is dirty, potential buyers may immediately devalue your home. Don't give them that opportunity. We would even recommend hiring a professional cleaning service to complete this important task. The money will be well spent. Following a deep clean, it will be easier to establish an ongoing cleaning plan to keep your house looking fantastic. Tip three. Remove any unnecessary clutter and furniture. It's hard to start to remove furniture when you don't know when you'll be moving out, but this is a crucial step. Extra pieces of furniture, like a huge dresser in a small bedroom, aren't going to help sell the house. Buyers need to be able to see how they can make your house a home. Decluttering is the best way to get the buyer to see the space for what it is. It's hard to envision the space in a new light when there are personal belongings, clutter, and excess furniture everywhere. Try removing one piece of furniture from every room and storing it in the garage or in a storage unit. Remember, less is better. Tip number four, invest in the small repairs. You know that a broken screen, door, scraped up walls, and leaking faucet you've been ignoring for months or longer. <laughs> Small defects like these are going to be noticed by potential buyers. In return, they will want to discount the value of your home. Your realtor can assist in determining which repairs are necessary and the ones that can maybe wait. Generally, focusing on the small home improvements like painting walls, replacing carpets, and changing the light bulbs are important and make huge makeovers. Tip number five, listen to your agent. Don't be there during open houses or showings. You chose your real estate agent for a reason. They are experts at what they do, and no one knows the housing market better than they do. Having said that, you should leave the house during all open house events. Why? Because too many things can go wrong if the seller is there to answer all of the questions buyers have. It also gives potential buyer and real estate agent the opportunity to have an honest exchange of information. The agent you hired knows how to answer questions and show a house, so let them do what they do best. Tip number six, it's all about marketing. Many times, home buyers and real estate agents start the real estate search online. It all starts with the photography, videos, and other visuals. Make sure the photos you are using to list your house are professional, bright, and detailed. You'll also want to be sure there are more than less in order to show every room in your house. Often buyers make the decision whether to visit your house or not based on what they see online. Review the pictures before they are posted online to ensure they will attract your audience. Your UC Realty broker will cover the cost of the photography and videos and a high quality vendor from whom to choose. Tip number seven. Keep it secure by cleaning up the personal items. Besides decluttering and giving your home that deep clean, personal items should be removed or locked up for security reasons. Unfortunately, in today's world, there are people who might attend your open house with bad intentions. 
Whether it be stealing objects or personal information, place money, jewelry, and expensive items in a locked safe or take them with you. Remove credit card statements, bills, and personal information from counters and secure them as well. Carry spare keys with you. The last thing you would want to have happen is having items stolen from your home or worse yet, enabling someone to break into your house. I'm Jenny Yusei with Yusei Realty and I want to maximize your potential profit of your home. With these seven tips, I am confident the selling process will be a breeze. One last thing, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and like and comment. Talk to you soon.